Pakistan PM calls on world to boycott U.S. until it ends free speech Muslims do not like. And I'm going to call this video, I'm going to call it, Using hate speech allegations, Pakistan tries to cancel U.S. over Muslim dissent. This is from a Christian Headlines report. Pakistan PM, Muslims, U.S. ban free speech. And this is from, this is from the, let's see... ChristianHeadlines.com. There you go. I couldn't see it there for some reason. Muslim countries should boycott U.S. West until they ban the insulting of Islam. Pakistan PM says this is this is the one of the well the one of the net effects. One of the I don't even know if it's unintended consequences. I think that to some degree it might be unintended because don't get me wrong. The people that are taking over America today, the non-Americans that are taking over America, this critical race theory people, that, that's the vehicle of power that they're using, they're not true believers, trust me. Citadelians don't give a crap about black people or gay people or any of that. It's just a very handy vehicle of power that allows them to consolidate power. But uh, one of the, the so, so I think this might be somewhat unintended, at least from the Citadelians, I'm not sure their AI and deep think deep learning machines have uh, have prognosticated this or not. Maybe they missed it, but I, I have a feeling that they're not super happy that one of the consequences of using this critical race theory ideology that undermines everything American, that underlines the Bill of Rights standards, that end up undermines the concept of individuals as divine beings in and of themselves, that it creates tools. Uh, weapons of war that can be used by our enemies against us. So they've created the standard of quote-unquote hate speech, which is basically hate speech in its truest form. It's basically anything that is said that doesn't fit within the CRT Bibles, and there's multiple Bibles they haven't coalesced yet. They haven't had their, their canon moment yet. I'm sure they'll get it eventually if they have enough, if they have power that long, and I don't think they will, but could be wrong. Uh, but uh, n needless to say that this concept that uh, anything that you say that hurts somebody's ideological constructs, m whatever, but in, in America, it's, it's a certain range of, 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 of protected constructs. Too. So not all religions. You can, you can blast Christianity all you want, can't say anything against Islam. You can blast heterosexuality all you want. You can't question homosexuality in any way, shape, or form. You can you can blast people that are pro-life all you want, but you can't say anything against abortion because if you do, then that means you're a white supremacist. Even if you're black, you're still a white supremacist. It doesn't matter. You're all white supremacists. That's, that's the, that's the catch-all pejorative that people use. And here it is. This, this prime minister, this thug, this is a man that regularly has people arrested in his country for, for blasphemy against Islam. People have been murdered by this man, by his orders, because they dare say anything against Islam. He wants to use the same, and, and his tactics are the same as the CRT. If the CRT folks had the power to murder us for our thoughts, we'd already be dead, I'll tell you that, because they've already put you in a classification of subhuman irredeemable subhuman there is no god in you there is no divinity in you the only thing that's in you is either their perverse upside down christ image that leads you to unnatural feelings for human beings below the age of consent or death <laughs> and 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 this man's right on board with it he's right on board with crt Pakistan PM urges boycott on U.S. and West until they stop people saying bad things about Muslims. Muslim countries should boycott U.S. West until they ban the insulting of Islam. So Pakistan's prime minister is urging Muslim-majority countries to come together and boycott the West until the United States and other democratic countries criminalize offensive speech against Islam. Where are they getting this idea from? I mean, well, they had it before, but where are they getting the idea that this could actually work? They're getting it from our own people, the people that are in power right now, the people that are running AT&T, the people that are running Facebook. These people are on board with it. They are more aligned with what this man says than what the Bill of Rights say. 
because the Bill of Rights assumes a divine, a, divi a divinity in allness, an image of God in all of us, and thus it checks the power of the state. It checks even the power of the market. Well, it's supposed to, not that it ever has in America, but it's supposed to. That's another story altogether. So it, 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 ostensibly, it checks the power of those with power. If you truly believe that someone is made in the image of God just like you, your, your capacity to take advantage of your power advantage is diminished. The CRT folks who preach all day long about the, the imbalance of power and how you have to be aware of your power advantage and act accordingly, they use their power advantage every day. And when they do, the people that are most targeted are we the poor, the people that can't afford the lawyers. These are the ones that get the most hurt by all of these horrible hate speech laws and and and, mar and market laws are in fact laws at this point because the state does back up the market with guns. So they're laws and laws are basically wish lists with guns pointed at people's head. That's essentially what laws are. Not that there shouldn't be some laws in which that happens, uh, but when, not when we're dealing with speech, certainly, unless we're talking about, well, in general, not when, we're, not when we're dealing with speech. Certainly not when we're d dealing with criticizing a religion of any kind, including Christianity. Criticize my religion all you want. I, I would never want the state to try to protect me from your opinions. We need to explain why this hurts us when in the name of freedom of speech, they insult the honor of the prophet, Khan said, according to Al Jazeera. When 50 Muslim countries will unite and say this and say that if something like this happens in any country, then we will launch a trade boycott on them and not buy their goods. That will have an effect. Yeah, it'll have an effect. The effect will be that uh, we'll just build our own stuff and watch you people die in, in your own penury because you've adopted another hateful revengetarian ideology that doesn't allow the best of the best to rise to the top and produce innovation that will move your country forward as technology unfolds so good luck with that